the channel. So, I'm officially on a shakedown run. Not really a shakedown run. I was just bored out of my mind. It's a beautiful day and I wanted to uh, try out the Jeep. So I headed up to one of the areas that uh, the kids and I quite often frequent in the uh, spring and summer months. So, I just thought, what the heck, I'm going to try it. And uh, I gotta say, I'm very impressed so far. I mean, okay, yeah, I get it. It's a Jeep. They're pretty capable. But um, it, it's a lot different than what my JKU is or was. Um, and I'll tell you what, it's a heck of a lot more different than my my Ram. It This thing feels... You know what? I'll stop up here and I'll talk to you a little bit about it. But um, yeah, I, I gotta say, spoiler alert, I'm, I'm pretty dang happy with this so far. So give me a few minutes and we'll... We'll check back in with you. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that ride up here as much as I did. Um, I have to say, this thing has been great so far. Uh, it's noisy inside, it's a Jeep, but <laughs> what the heck, right? So the only thing I would say is uh, it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to with how close you sit to the rear axle. I mean, that to me feels extremely weird. It's almost like I'm driving a sports car, but a very capable sports car. But um, yeah. What I wanted to say on the way up here was this thing being a 1998 feels more stable than my six year newer Ram 1500 at uh, highway speeds and off road. Like it feels like a beast up here. My Dodge last time I was up here quadding. I don't know if we made a video of that or not. It was sketchy coming up this road. Like it was just walking all over the place. And this thing, it just seems to stick to the road. Oh, give me one sec. My radio's going crazy. What was that? Something Kelowna, something rather. I missed it. It's important. They'll come back on. Um, but yeah, man, it feels so good to be back in a Jeep and I can't wait to, you know, get the winch and everything on. I was playing around down in here. I don't know if you guys, if I pushed record, I know I got coming over the little hump here. I went a little ways down and I was like, you know what? This is dumb. I'm not going to do this by myself with no winch. So I turned around, got the heck out of there, but it feels so good. Like it's just driving on pavement. And I guess that can be attributed to the fact that I'm running a 31 inch winter tire, whatever it is, what it is. But, um, back to what I was saying. So last time I was up here with my Dodge, it felt sketchy, man. Like there's, there's no way around it. It felt like you were going to die on this kind of slick road. Like this is all, this is all ice. Can you see my feet? This is all ice here. Like it's the whole entire road for, I don't know, probably 80 kilometers is like this. And I came up a little ways. I, I'm probably up, I don't know, maybe 10 kilometers or something. So I can keep going up, but there's no point. I wanted to just feel this thing out. And I got to say, man. I am in love with the TJ. Now I see why people love these things. Zero electronics to worry about. Okay, not zero electronics. Far less electronics than the modern Jeeps now. Um, yes, it's only got Dana 35s and Dana 30. Whatever. I'm going to put 33s on it. And when I break an axle, not if, I'll swap out the diffs. You know, I'll do, do some upgrades to 44s and a 40 or something like that. But I... Uh, <laughs> Man, I don't even know what to say. I'm just so happy. Give me one sec here. Man, there's just something so confidence inspiring about driving a Jeep. I decided to uh, head up a little bit more. I heard that there's um, a bunch of snowmobilers and ATVers up here. They're meeting at the one of the junction roads and I'm gonna pop in and see if I can find them and say hi. So yeah, but it's just so peaceful, you know, driving in something like this where 
you, you know you can make it. Like I'm looking at some of these hills and I remember some of these hills from a couple winters ago when I uh, rescued that Toyota. Was that last winter or the winter before? Whatever. And um, in my power wagon, it was scary. I had to air down to like 15 PSI or I think she had like 13 PSI. And in this thing, I'm still running 35 PSI or 30, whatever the heck it was. I think it's 32. Um, and I, I still feel 100% confident. So the only thing I worry about is mechanical failures, but that's why I'm heading out to uh, give it a shakedown run. So yeah, let's go see if we can find these guys. Okay, well, I'm gonna end that off here. I came all the way up to the junction here. There's nobody here. There is some tire tracks, but um, I'm assuming they went this way because, well, that's the only way, but um, my phone is dead and this thing is a heck of a lot worse on fuel than I anticipated. So I'm gonna turn around and head back out. So um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this type of content and uh, you wanna see the build on this thing, stick around. I got a lot of cool things planned for it. And in the end, a really big announcement in regards to this Jeep so um yeah I appreciate you guys watching please like comment and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one